Round 1. Varangian Guardsmen vs. Roman Centurion. Welcome to Merging Worlds, where 32 fighters from across the centuries are pitted against each other in an epic battle royale. Matchups are randomized, and each outcome is determined by AI analysis. The victors move on to the next round till we find the greatest fighters of all time. The Varangian Guards were a legendary corps of elite warriors in the Byzantine Empire from the 10th to the 14th centuries. The word Varangian is thought to be derived from the Old Norse term Varangi, meaning sworn companion or oath-bound man. Varangian guards served as the personal bodyguards of the Byzantine emperors. In addition to their role as protectors, they also played a crucial role in major battles, serving as shock troops and as a reserve force. Their reputation as fearless and skilled warriors often made them a formidable presence on the battlefield. Many Varangians favored the Viking-style Dane Axe, a long-handled battle axe that could deliver devastating blows. They carried large, round shields, often adorned with distinctive patterns. Varangians wore chainmail armor for protection, and some wore conical helmets. They were considered to be fearless, often at the forefront of Byzantine military campaigns, and were known for their unwavering courage. Guardsmen were also adaptable fighters. They could wield a range of weapons, allowing them to adjust their tactics based on the situation. Finally, Varangians were known for their resilience in the face of adversity. They could endure harsh conditions during long campaigns and maintain their combat effectiveness. Roman centurions were officers in the Roman army during the height of the Roman Empire, known for their leadership, discipline, and unwavering commitment to the Roman military. Centurions typically came from the Roman citizenry, and their ranks were organized in a hierarchical system based on experience and merit. They played a crucial role in maintaining discipline within the legions and were responsible for training, leading, and inspiring the Roman soldiers under their command. Roman centurions were equipped with a distinctive set of weapons and armor. They wore the Lorica Segmentata, a segmented plate armor that protected their upper bodies. On their heads, they donned the iconic Monte Fortino, or Coolis helmet. Their primary weapon was the Gladius, a short sword renowned for its effectiveness in close combat. They also carried a rectangular scutum shield, which provided excellent protection in formation. Centurions were known for their exceptional leadership skills, tactical acumen, and combat prowess. Their strength lay in their ability to instill discipline and motivation in their troops, leading by example on the battlefield. They possessed a deep understanding of Roman military tactics and formations, enabling them to make critical decisions in the heat of battle. In the arena, the Varangian Guardsmen and Roman Centurion face each other, each clad in their distinctive armor and armed with their formidable weapons. The Varangian dons his chainmail hauberk and conical helmet, gripping a menacing Viking-style axe. Meanwhile, the Centurion stands tall in his Lorica Segmentata and plumed helmet, with a gladius and scutum at the ready. The duel begins with a cautious advance, both warriors sizing up their opponent. They move with calculated steps, studying each other's movements, looking for for any opening to exploit. The Varangian, renowned for his physical prowess, takes the initiative. He lunges forward with a powerful stride, swinging his Viking-style axe in a wide arc, aiming for the Centurion's head. In a split second, the Roman raises his scutum to block the Varangian's axe strike. The impact sends shockwaves through the Centurion's arm, but he holds his ground. Capitalizing on the Varangian's exposed side, the Centurion shifts his weight and thrusts his gladius toward the Varangian. Varangian's torso, seeking to penetrate his armor. The Varangian, a seasoned fighter, manages to deflect the Centurion's gladius with his axe, turning the blade away from his body. He attempts a swift counterattack toward the Roman's exposed side, but the Centurion leaps out of the way. The intensity of the battle escalates as the two warriors engage in close combat. Steel clashes with steel as the Varangian's Viking-style axe hacks and swings, while the Centurion, drawing on his Roman training, skillfully parries and sidesteps, avoiding the full force of the Varangian's attacks. The Centurion's discipline and skill become increasingly apparent. He seamlessly combines offense and defense, his gladius striking with precision, probing for chinks in the Varangian's armor. His scutum remains a steadfast barrier, blocking incoming attacks with unwavering stability. As the duel unfolds. 
it becomes clear that the guardsman's initial ferocity is waning. His strength and stamina are gradually diminishing under the relentless discipline of the centurion. The Romans' measured strikes continue to threaten, forcing the Varangian into a defensive stance. Then, seizing a moment of vulnerability, the centurion sees his chance. He executes a perfectly timed feint, luring the Varangian into a false sense of security. As the Varangian shifts his weight to defend against the expected attack, the centurion swiftly changes his angle of attack. With a mighty thrust, the gladius pierces through a gap in the Varangian's armor, finding its mark in the guardsman's abdomen. A gasp of pain escapes the Varangian as he staggers backward, clutching the wound. His axe falls from his grasp, clattering to the ground. The centurion, victorious yet vigilant, lowers his gladius and scutum. But just when it seems the battle is truly over, a last surge of determination courses through the Varangian's veins. Ignoring the searing pain in his gut, he makes one final attempt to reach his fallen weapon. With trembling fingers, he stretches out, his hand inches away from his fallen axe. However, the centurion, ever watchful, steps forward decisively. With one swift motion, he thrusts his gladius once more, this time through the Varangian's outstretched hand. The message is clear. Any further attempts to reclaim his weapon will be futile, and the fight is truly at an end. The arena falls into a hushed silence as the centurion raises his gladius in a salute to his fallen foe, honoring the bravery of the Varangian. The centurion wins and will move on to the next round. Comment down below who you would like to see in the next matchup. Like and subscribe as we continue our search for the greatest warriors ever as we embark on this epic journey in merging worlds.